Hello everyone, my name is Pony the Genius, and today we're going to be playing some Pokemon Arceus. Legends of Arceus. Sorry, I probably got the name wrong the first time. And hold on. Alright. English, okay. So choose your language. English. Now obviously, whenever you see now saving on the screen, your progress is being automatically saved. Okay. So this is an auto. Okay, I better shush now. Please don't. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. You're a star, a giant star. I don't see you here. Now, I wish to know Dan, time or appearance. Dan. Okay. That looks like Dawn. Okay, select your appearance. Mm, I, I mostly look like this. What is my day name? Okay. You can obviously know and tell that my name is Pony. So, it's only a four digit. I mean, a four character name. So, it's not like a 12 digit name. Oh my gosh. Not digit. Character name. Okay, Pony. All is correct as it should be. Yes. Pony. Soon thou shalt find thy self in the world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that are humans call Pokemon. Pony. Yes. I know my mic quality is pretty bad, but I mean, there are three types of mic qualities, you can hear me. So, the moderate one is like the one you usually hear quite clearly, clearly, when I'm playing like Roblox games. And then there is like another mic quality when I'm wearing a headset. And technically, it's like a headset that you can hear me breathing on and literally hear me so loud that, oh man, you better lower the volume. Anyways, seek all, seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. Oh look, it's me. Am I drawing? Oh. Am I drawing? Oh, that's my way. Now my phone is flying away over me. Oh look, it's our seat. Give me my phone back, please. Thank you. You saved my phone. Thank you, Arceus. Oh no, don't suck me in. Arceus. Arceus, go! Pokemon Legends, Arceus. So, I kind of got the name wrong. So, I'm supposed to say Pokemon Ar Legends Arceus. So, that's the game name. Wake up! Why? Oh, do wake up, won't you? Oh, no. Now we got these three starters. Are you awake? Or are you alive, my girl? 
We were drowning. Because we're in a beach. Okay, there I am. Oh. You gave me quite a shock. Falling from the sky like that. Wait. Did we came from that sky right over there? Don't tell me. Like, literally. If we came out from that way, I wouldn't be surprised. So anyways, going from the sky like that. I thought we were on the ocean. It sounded like oh, the ocean because it, we were like floating gravity. But thank goodness you seem done harm. Who are you? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky. You understand? Come now, who in the world does that? Me? <laughs> I must stay. Your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an... an acquaintance in these parts, do you? Acquaintance, I meant. I doubt it. I actually do not know where those clothes come from. I see, you seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? Oh. Uh, I look like Dawn. Maybe this is why we're like kind of identical. Maybe. I don't know what's the cause of her here. Anyways, so you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night? Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure that you'll be able to survive? Um, I don't know what to do. Oh man. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in need. Such a Oh my, I completely forgot. I just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Ah. But do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do. <laughs> I absolutely know. My, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. Oh, yes, and what might your name be? Oh, so you're called Pony. That name is quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Leventon. Leventon. I am something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as... I didn't read that. Oh, blast! And bother my darn Pokemon! Why must you run from me again? Oh my gosh, look at her face. I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you! Wait! You three wait! Okay. No. Okay. It's kind of like Pokemon Sword and Shield. So, L2 move. Wait. Sorry, excuse me. Okay, that's how you run. Oh. Arceus is ring! Go! Oh, it's... there's a glowing, beeping object over there. Give me that. Yay! 
you found something that resembles a phone, it's probably your phone, but it's shape. It's changed shape. You feel a strange power in making it. What? Oh my gosh. A message appear on the screen. I bestow upon the this arc phone and they mission seek out all Pokemon. Okay. I must have said something wrong. I never seen these words before. Okay, let's run. Those are flowers. Okay. We can turn our camera. We can look up in the sky. We can look down in the ground. <sighs> Alas, yet another miss. Aha, uh -huh, I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I try catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way. But I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give you to go ahead at it. Oh my goodness, I said the line wrong, haven't I? Yes, I did. I'd love to give you a go at it. But perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. <clears throat> now that one is a Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize. So, oh my gosh. Can photosynthesize. Size. Oh my gosh. What in it? Okay, photo. Can use photosynthesis, basically, like a plant. And apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. Photosympathize. <laughs> Photosympathize. What in the world am I saying? That one over there is Sindo. Is Sindo Quill. A fire burning. The fire burning on Sindo Quill's back will flare up whenever it is surprised or irate. Oh my gosh, this one. Okay, the Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water, and it can battle while using the shell like object on its belly. Okay, so. Oh my. I nearly forgot to cover the most critical, crucial thing how to go about catching Pokemon. Here you go. Here you are, my girl. Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. 50? That's a lot, isn't it? Ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to um, a minuscule size. A minuscule size. What? And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are the recent invention, you see. Throw one at... Throw one of them at a Pokemon and... Why? The Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know you've just met, but I'm afraid I've n I've no one else to do to turn to. I'd be awful grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now, the proper technique is to aim at the Pokemon. Then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though far be it from me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Alright, throwing Pokeballs. Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeballs at them. Hold the ZR button. 
his ER button. Okay, the, le the right side of the joystick. Oh, I don't need it. Oh my gosh. It's the right stick. The angle. So it's angling. Now we're going to super extreme Pokemon trainer stuff right here. Now we're actually the Pokemon trainer that's actually catching it. So, okay, release the ZR button, okay. So we have to aim, so, like this. Oh my gosh, I don't wanna waste. Okay, so we got an Oshawa. Where's this Cyndaquil? Cyndaquil, where are you? If you run out of Pokeballs, do just say the word. Here. D did you just try to draw a Pokeball at me? I'd rather... I'd really rather you not. <laughs> okay, Cyndaquil. Oh, no, no, no. Cyndaquil, nope. Okay, Cyndaquil is not gonna... Hmm. So we got Oshawa. Where's the Rowlet? Rowlet, where are you? Oh, Rowlet. Wait. Swing behind me. Okay. Ah, oh, Rowlet, no, no, no. I usually choose a fire type as a starter, so okay. Come here, Cynthical. Okay, I did it. Whoa! Wonderful, you caught a Pokemon! It seems you've quite the knack for this Pokemon. Catching business, Pony! Joyful, useful! Skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. I'll be f afraid of big ones. If that's possible. Oh man, where is it? Oshawa. Oshawa, come here. Oh, I ran out of Pokeballs. Oshawa. No. Oshawa. Okay. Gotta catch them all. Okay, we got Oshawa. I can hardly believe it. Pony, incredible. You know how many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind catch them. Bravo indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up. Sharpish. Shall we? Sharpish? Okay, Oshawott. Oh no, it's Rowlet. Oh. Oh. Uh, I'm afraid that can't happen. Pokeballs are hardly... 100% foolproof, given an art gold, girl. <laughs> Where? Where's the Rowlet? Oh, that's a far away shot. This must be a catch. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have just only arrived at the village to help our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village as almost as if they knew you'd co come falling. But I must say, Pony, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you, you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an art form, you say. What an odd op device. Could it be guiding you somehow? 
if you endure me, endure me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field called such as a parallel, a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in the region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to do to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? Come on, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my girl? Okay, you've convinced me. Then whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We've a Pokedex to complete. We have a Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your longings and find you from some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me then, onward to Jobu Life Village. Jobu Life. Jobu Life. Cutscene. Oh, now my, my MC is questioning what's that over there. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsmen. This young lady was a uh, was of great uh, assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing her into the village for a bit. I actually said the line, not the incorrect saying, but I might fix it, but I don't know what else. This way, if you please. Jubilee Life Village. It's come a long way. Yeah. This road is now we're known as the locals as the Candle Ave. The village was built sac sacredly two years ago. Oh, really? Since then, we know so little of the local Pokemon. Now, the impressive building up ahead of us is the Galaxy Hall Headquarters. I can't read that fast, actually. I almost got the whole thing. Oh, butter engine. I've almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canton? Canteen? Okay, it's just past this bridge here. Then to the left, the wallflower. It's called. Your arc phone is beeping. Somehow it seems to show where you need to go next. Oh, so use, use the minus button, okay. You'll also see guidance markers. Oh. Now this is getting somewhere. There's the gardens. Okay, let's go to a wallflower. Oh 
Oh my gosh, this guy. Well, Al, aren't you awfully suspicious? Okay, my first impression to you is, is a suspicious looking old man. Oh my gosh, I feel bad. The wildflowers for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. He looks like he's from an evil team. Kind of like Team Rocket, Team Skull, Team Star, Team Flare, Team Man and stuff like that. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, my MC is so sad now. Okay, maybe this is my rival. Who in the world are you? <laughs> you don't have to walk up to me and say, Who in the world are you? <laughs> and what's that bizarre garb you're wearing? That's so mean to actually approach a random person you never met before. But okay, a Pokemon could slice through those flimsy excuses for clothes. <laughs> hmm, so you to get in here, someone must have vouched you vouch for you. What is Professor Levantin? Do you know each other? He's from a region a long way off. Not the most reliable sort, though. Letting Pokemon run off and give him the slip and all. Three of them am got away just a while ago. If I hadn't been rested up after some Pokemon dropped me with a move called Thundershock, I've I'd have corrolled him for sure, but the professor well. Unfortunately, it's just as Ray says, I'm clumsy for s sort of a fail. To put it mildly. <gasps> but everything will be quite alright now. Pony has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. So his name is Rai. As in, she's going to join the Survey Corps? What the makes you think that's a good idea? We can't just take in any mishit fit who wanders out of the wilderness. I'll allow that. Gah! Oh my gosh, she's so scared. Is that a assuming individual can contribute to the survey coats that is I am captain of the I am the captain of the galaxy team survey coats. You may call me Selene. Selene? Selene oh my. Professor Leventon has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm, you look to be 15 or so. Well, how in the world are you assuming ages like this quite old enough to work for your keep? But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh ho! The most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite alright. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without disturb destruction. Or disturb. Oh. Bull of as I see. Oh, well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and uh, some pleasant conversation, eh? Benny, old chum, the usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. 
Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never failed to please. So this is like, where do you find this stranger in the first place, Professor? Ah, well, you know of that old great hole in the sky. The one people called the space-time rift. Our new friend fell right out of there. Was that a joke? <laughs> oh my gosh, he just nods his head like, what? Come on, come now, I'm a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. 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 Oh my gosh, I'm mixing up my words right now. Today is not a good day for me to read these kind of words. I concern myself with only facts. I said that wrong. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hitsu Vision. Re oh my gosh, not the Vision. Region. Hitsu. Hitsu? 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 I hope I said that right. Sure, they're all over the place. In the grass, in the forest, in the ocean. It's up to us in the survey corps to study them and figure out what kind of creatures are they. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But there's where, but that's where Pony will come in. She successfully caught three Pokemon. Three of them in quick order. You understand? Nobody in the galaxy team is capable of a, of a feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Uh, that's really something. We could... We count ourselves lucky when we manage to catch a single wild Pokemon while fending off their attacks. Ah, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the, the attack but the key to catching pokemon is getting close enough to aim your pokeball well and it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do the, just that does the survey corpse really have the leeway to enjoy a leisurely meal with this outsider your captain just ordered 10 whole pro portions of potato mode shape. You know, the slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure it will start to rain in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now, have your fill, Pony. And think, if you make it into the galaxy team, You'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs. Even if said members fell out of the sky. Okay, we're eating actually. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. You're awfully relaxed about all this. You do know that we know... Oh my gosh, repeat that, I must. You do know that we won't get to have Pony join the survey courts unless she passes a trial. Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Pony's skills. Let's hope it is not misplaced. Pony, was it? For tonight, at least. We will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters here.
But if you fail to pass the trial, we put to you tomorrow. You must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate and perhaps your death in the wilds. My gosh, they're so cool. Captain Sealy Linnies like Hisui. In a way, they're both plenty harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help us all safe. Keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turn in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the fortunes. We sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. Yeah, sleep tight. Still, people falling from the sky? That's some kind of story. Okay, in an unfamiliar land. Alright, let's go to the survey corpse. Run, boy, run. Okay, so we're sleeping here. Alright. Hold on, I wonder what that is. Checking survey tips. Survey tips contains all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work in the Hi Hisui region. Hitsui region. I hope I said that right! Oh. It's either Hitsui or Haisui. To read them at, at any time, simply press the up button. The up, okay. So let me try this. Handy tips for team members. Don't wish your toils to be forgotten. Diligent recording keeping will save you from such a fate. Saving your progress. To save your progress, press the up button to open the menu, then scroll down with the with the ZL or the or the ZR button until you reach the save screen. There's also an auto save function. Okay. I understand. Okay, let me try that. So Oh, there it is. Now saving progress, yeah. Now that's how you save your progress. Now let's go to sleep. Rest until tomorrow morning? Yes, I wanna go to sleep. I don't wanna stay up all late, all day. Whoa. Oh no, what's going on? Super Five Brady. That is an even no word. Yo, the controls, Joy-Con, and well, in the joystick, they are vibrating crazy in that cutscene. I don't know if you hear that, but okay. The next day. Hey, in there. Are you awake? That was some wild lightning last night. Anyway, if you're up, come on out. Yes, I'm up. Unfamiliar land, okay. Let's go. Why? Wait, let me investigate. This chest looks like you can store lots of items in it. Okay, bye. I'm going up. Did you sleep alright? I know that it's not easy in a strange new land. We'd better not keep Captain Cellini, Cellini waiting. Let's correct. Let's head to the quarters. 
Wait, where is it? Where's the quarters? I got conf oh there it is, sorry. It's right here. Open sesame. There he is. Here we are at Galaxy Hall. What do you think? Ever seen a building this grand before? Don't give up! Keep those eyes open! The wild Pokemon, they they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I sent out my part of Pokemon, but against the whole pack. Outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield. But a medical corpse will put you to the right. You, uh, do you realize if you fail your trial and get flung out of town, you will die? You could well die out there. Well, you might die even sooner than that if you have to take on this trial without Pokemon to be your partner. Well, how harsh, Ray? Ray, Ray, or. Captain Selene, ma'am, I brought Pony. You may enter. Let's get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself capable by going out into the obsidian field lands and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and the Shanks. Three species right away? But none of us have ever managed that. Well, I can. Did the stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for her. If the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of our corpse survey corpse scans. Satchels to carry whatever you may need to in the field. Okay, now we have a satchel. Whatever it is you're wearing doesn't suit our satchels in the least. Ray. I'll expect you to step in if anything goes away. Away. Mission, the Galaxy Team's Entry Trial. Alright, press the Y. And you're... Okay, I see. Pardon, Pony. Come with me. A moment. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. What did you need, Professor? In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Pony absolutely must pass this trial. And as a Professor of Pokemon, I've got just the ticket to help accomplish that. Yay, starters! Okay, that's not a short sound. Go on, Pony! Pick a Pokemon that strikes your fancy. I want... Okay, never mind. Hold that dot. Okay, with a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight a wild Pokemon outside the village. The little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see that they're rather curious about you. Well, my girl, 
Which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? Alright, so we got Cyndaquil, Rowlet, and Ashua. I want a Cyndaquil, please. I never have a Cyndaquil as a starter, so okay. Do you want Cyndaquil as your first partner? Yes! Come here, me, your Pokemon. Pokemon. Yay! Come on, Cyndaquil. And with that, one of the Pokemon we've caught at the Prelude Beach. Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. Good show. I've tucked Cyndaquil back inside its Pokeball for you. So take it, it's yours. Of course. A word of advice, my girl. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Okay. Look at these two cheer on the panel. Cyndaquil. Or maybe they just wanted to help Pony with her trial. That could be what they did go dashing from the village when Pony fell out of the sky after all. Well, not to worry, you two. I have... You assist me with my research for now. By the by, what species has Captain Selene charged you with catching? Well, at smashing, all three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial then. Yep, 20. That's a lot, isn't it? Usually they give us like 5 or 10 in the games, the past games. So this is probably like the past, like, when Pokemon World just is born. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work on work a treat. As you've already seen, you have this trial clear in no time. Let's be off. I'll show you the way to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Meet me at the gate to your left as you leave headquarters. Let's leave. Okay, so where's the marker? Let me check the map. So, so we got our Pokeballs, and we got our Cyndaquil. It's level five. Oh, right there. Go. Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can already tell that you're quite the character. Alright, I'm Vulu of the Ginkgo Guild. The go-to choice for any of your Merten Mercantile needs here in Hisu. I've heard talk. I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky. Didn't you? Now that's certainly a tale I like to hear. Oh, you're you a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Everyone has such bad communication that it's messing up my own communication as well. Of commentary. I mean, sorry, that's true. Investigate 
Investigating the odd and novel is the key to any good merchant's success. So what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in a battle? Sounds good. Okay. I like you better and better. What a delightful fun. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempting. You two attempting? Okay, this is literally messing up my language. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's health reaches zero. Alright, Ginkgo, Guild Member! Follow Jinky to a battle! He's a little bit of Alright, Fairy type. Alright, come on, go Centipede. Battle! Whoa, we can actually move here? That's intense. Okay, fight! Use quick attack! Good! Oh! No, no! Fight! Use quick attack! Let's go! That was literally like a nice kitchen. Oh my gosh. You can literally enter so <laughs> and mess around. Okay. So use quick attack. Go! Quick attack fainted! Battle decided. items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. Thank you. Da -da -da -da. New move. What's the new move, dog? I always good I always good at fun to have you or Pokemon do a battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they all they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Yep. They sometimes learn new moves when they level up. Okay, there's a change to me. But so few people here have their own Pokemon. If only they knew how to use Pokemon. At any rate, let me help our two battlers recover their little exercise. And to you? My sky fallen friend, I present some potions and thanks. Yay! Potion, yep, I already know. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. I'll be hoping that you're successful on that trial of yours. More Galaxy Team members mean more customers for yours truly, after all. Gosh, this merchant is so interesting. If you can battle that well, I've got a feeling you may have your trial well in hand, even if it's more to do with catching than battling. Now, to the Obsidian Field Lands. Whenever you leave Juby Life Village, you have to pick a destination from your map. And let rest the guardsmen know where you're off to. That's that way someone can come collect you if things go wrong. Hey, I hope you make it through this. Okay, now you're being supportive all of a sudden. Okay, you're probably correct. I was informed you'll be passing through. Your trial will be will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. All right, so now this is the map. So this is our village, Obsidian Fields. No. Yes, actually. Okay, now we're going to camp. 
This is our base camp. It's where we start and finish our surveys. Now remember what you've got to do. You've been tasked with three with catching three species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. I know those three Pokemon, so I'm okay. I'm curious to see if the professor's story about you are truly or really true. Oh, Professor? Something wrong? Uh, well, you see. Captain Selene got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me and I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. She doesn't let up. What exactly are you supposed to, to help out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear boy, I don't intend to lift a finger. Pony's skills are the real deal. She'll pass with flying colors, you'll see. <laughs> so in other words, I'm still the one bearing the responsibility here. Not my ideal state of affairs. Let's just get started. You'll be more than equal to this, Pony. All right, let's go. Come on. Ooh, this is the aspiring, the aspiration, aspiration hill. Aspiration. Okay, it's actually the obsidian field lands. Look, a bit of. Yep, it's a bit of. You may be some sort of prodigy, but just in case, here's what Captain Salini taught me. Okay. Hold down the ZL button to focus on the wild Pokemon and keep it in your sights as long as it's nearby. Bidoof is a mellow Pokemon, which means it doesn't tend to run away when you approach. Aim carefully, let your Pokeball fly, and you'll out be alright. Okay. Bidoof, here we come. So. <laughs> Simple as that. I already did that. Bidoof. I didn't have to get close. I did an aim shot. One bit of cut. Now we are match. We're on march. You're not marching, you're running. Starling? Starly? Or Star no. Yeah, it is a Starly. Now, Starly here. It's the type to run at the drop of the hat. But not to worry, crouch down in the grass and it won't stop spot you. That's how you can get close. Alright, press the B button. And make it harder for wild Pokemon to notice you. What happens if there's a Pokemon in the grass and you have to literally avoid them? Alright. Oh. Sneaky sneak. Yeah, we caught it. And that Sarley caught too. I admit, I'm impressed so far. Okay, you're just keeping running away from me. Can you just let me walk ahead and do the job? I forgot to share another smidgen of. Wisdom. 
smid smidgen of wisdom. How to draw your partner's Pokeball. The quote, Captain Zellini's wise teachings. Have an item at the ready, but when, but want to send out a Pokemon, press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready, but want to throw an item, press X. Okay, the captain's a real expert on these things. Once you've got a Pokemon ready, try to aim for certain rocks or the trees like this one. Your Pokemon will hunt for berries and things, and it will bring them back whatever it finds. Now it's time for your partners to shine. We've reached your final hurdle, catching a, a Sphinx. Okay. So we can... Okay. Go, Pokeball! Wow. Okay, let me... Hmm. Okay, we're gonna catch this... Sphinx. This is a Shinx. I mean, Shinx. It's like a little cub. Shinx has an aggression disposition. Did you know that already? Yeah, I know. That figures. Me, I have to focus on a Pokemon carefully to notice a thing like that. Once aggressive Pokemon get wound up, they'll knock away any balls you throw. So, if you use the CL button to focus on the Pokemon, you can see how easily it will may be to catch. In X icon will appear above if the Pokemon has picked a fight with you. Be warned, Pokemon displaying this icon cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. Alright. But not to worry, I'll teach you the trick to catch them. You draw them into battle. Once it's caught in the heat of battle, you can draw a Pokeball to try and catch it. You got a few Pokemon of your own. Use now. To use now, don't you? Now, one of our Pokeballs. And throw it at a wild Pokemon you want to battle. Oh my. Use what you learn in your battle with Vulo. Get out there and make your last catch. That won't be my last catch. Starting Pokemon. Uh, I see. Okay. Oh, oh! Okay, so... I choose you! Oh my god. Alright, fight! Use Ember! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Fight. You pick attack. Think he's looking around. Alright. Items. Pokeball. Use. There's three species of Pokemon caught. You really are some kind of prodigy. You must have given excuse me, Professor Levinton the shock of his life. First you fall from the sky, then you go and catch all of our escaped Pokemon, one after another. I honestly didn't believe the professor's story until I saw you in action for myself. And here you are, with three Pokemon caught. You've completed your trial. 
Oh, ho! I said you passed the trial with flying colors, and it seems you went and did it just that. Congratulations, Pony. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. I've got to admit it, it's true, you've got real talent for this. Now, then, we best report the, to the p Captain Seleni. Time to head back to the Jubilee Life Village, eh? I still can't get used to the words, the new words. The Hitsu the Hisui region. Eventually you should be able to have Pokemon you've caught go live in the village pastures. The most Pokemon a person can have with them while out exploring is six. Apparently not that. We have anyone who can manage that. <clears throat> Come on, you two, let's not dilly dally. Captain Salini awaits our report at headquarters. Uh, I can't wait to see the captain's reaction. Can we to see? Okay, that's what you said outside. Whew. It seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Congratulations, you passed your trial. You can hold on to this, to that scat. I must admit, you impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the survey eclipse. The survey corpse uniform! Get change in the room. You used last night, then you're to report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. Okay. Bye. Where is it? Oh, there it is. some lovely stones. No, I don't want to look at the stones. I want to change outfit. Do you want to change your outfit? Of course. Change. Put time to put on your survey corpse uniform and your survey corpse sandals. Okay. Voila! Is this how we're supposed to wear it? Of course. Um, okay, I'll leave it the way it is. Mm -hmm. Now we're officially ready. You changed into your survey corps outfit. Look 
look at you in the survey corps uniform. Now it re finally feels like you're one of us. But I do wonder when the captain decided to go ahead and get a uniform ready for you. I see you've changed by regarding your accommodations. Accommodations you may continue to use room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. Don't tell me it's the. Ah! This one. Yeah, I'm officially. Now present yourself to the commander. Okay, to the commander. Hello, commander. I've been waiting for you. I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Hmm, so you are a pony. Yes, sir. Hmm. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made out of. Face me in combat. Charge at him. Try to throw him. Ah! Hmm. Hmm. You've got some fight in you. Your sin needs work, but I see some potential. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, we will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among us might see your arrival as a portent of disaster. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you are part of the Jibu Life Village now. <laughs> do, do dedicate yourself to work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, Pony. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. So the commander has also accepted you. But understand this, you begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In our words, you have no rank at all. To perform as well as a member of the court survey corps, and you will move up through the ranks. Indeed, you see, more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. Uh, and working on the Pokemon decks will also, of course, bring you closer toward the goal of yours. Seek out every last Pokemon. Here, you will need this. Recipe. Oh, so now we can craft stuff. And and three thousand poke dollars as well. You will have to buy the necessary items. Ray, you are an expert at crafting. Yourself. Teach our new recruit what she needs to know. Yes, ma'am, Captain. Get ready for a lesson in crafting. Crafting means making items from scratch. 
That's right, whatever you need in your survey work, you mostly make yourself. Some things you can buy it at the general store, but it's good to try to be self-sufficient. This way, we can even catch Pokemon with Pokeballs we've crafted ourselves. But listen to me prattle on. Let's go, the crafts work so you can try yourself. Basics of crafting. Okay, so when we're finished the basics of crafting, we will end it there. Whew! Well done earning a place in our team. My name is Andy, the local clothier. The professor asked that I ready you a charge a change of clothes, so here you go. I do hope they fit. A change. You, you received an everyday Komodo. Oh. I hope you will avail yourself of the villagers humble shops. Hey hey! This uh, this way to the crafts work. This this here is the crafts work, and there is the workbench. It's where you craft things. Pretty self-explanatory, right? When you step up to the workbench, I'll supply you materials to make some Pokeballs. Call it a present to celebrate passing your trial. And as for the money the captain gave you, feel free to spend that whatever, however you like. Any recipes you get should tell you what materials you need to complete them. At the workbench, just choose what you want to make and get crafting. Go on, try it out. Crafting. Okay. Craft. Where are you looking for someone? No. Oh. Okay, craft. So we need an A pre corn and a tumble stone to make a Pokeball. Okay, let's go. Craft. You made a Pokeball, and you put it in your section. Basics of crafting complete. Oh ho, now that's fa some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe this was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my girl. You'll recall, of course, the Pokemon possesses the odd power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. And so that more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in a Pokedex. And on that note, here you are. Pokedex. Okay, I already know that. Okay, let's not see that yet. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon there are in this grand region. It'll take plenty of research tasks to help the professor complete the Pokedex. I've got to get going on those myself. I'll be happy I'll, I'd be all too happy to explain more about the research task once, once I could use your assistance. Come with me at the Fieldsland Camp whenever you're ready, my good pony. Hey, excuse me. I couldn't help but overhear. If you're going to Fieldsland camp, would you mind taking care of a, 
a request for me. I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post. But I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. People who have something to ask you will have a request on Alright. So like this. At this point, I think I should stop right here. Sorry for my horrible reading. Because I was not up right now. I'm not up to reading right now, if you know what I mean. And oh man, my voice is cracking. Okay. Okay, that's the map. I don't want to go there yet. Wait, can we actually... Wait, I just wasted one Pokeball over some... Hello, can you follow me? Oh, we can actually speak to our Pokemon. Can you follow us, please? Return! Go, Sphinx! I mean, Shinx! Okay, return! Go, my starter! Okay. So let's save the progress. Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And goodbye. Have a good day or a 